our simple understanding too. All these nine dimensions are contained within the zero dimension. These are the ten dimensions. So all of these are contained in there and these nine dimensions consist of three dimensions nesting inside of each other as I've shown here as the triangles. So there's the, these nine dimensions nest inside of each other. This is a coaxial signal for the dark energy which is prana that flows through everything, flows through our minds and creates this world. So we can take this as a background to what I'm explaining, the flow of the dark energy, the prana, the tai chi. The tai chi contains both the positive and the negative. This is the imaginary, the point in mind, the superposition. The first triangle is a level of quantum mechanics. The video signal, the attention, our vision, seeing things, the image we're seeing. This is the first level of our minds. And these four are the transcendental numbers. There's I, Pi, Phi, and E. Now there's Phi, which is the golden mean, 1.618, a pentacle in polygon harmonics. The five is an eye. See the eyebrow and the eye. The eye sees movement. Pi is movement. The eye sees two dimensions, surfaces. So here we have the point. And as the point moves in and out of focus, we get a circle. And that, as we all know, is a function of pi. So that movement is a function of pi. Then we see the line moving from position to position. And that then we, and we see it as moving on a screen, on a surface. And this is the video signal. This line here represents the video signal. This is the eye that sees. This is the eye that sees movement, which is the differential. And there, the eye sees surfaces, which is the integral. So it's through the transcendental numbers of E, Phi and Pi that we see an image on the screen of our minds and the E determines that it doesn't stay there fixed but it fades. Like on a TV screen you get a moving line and it fades. This is a function of E, the exponential. Now from this movement of the video signal, from this movement from this create, because here we remember we see we're seeing light. We're actually creating light. Light is the seeing of it, and the seeing of it is in this structure. So the tai chi, the the dark energy, which contains both positive and negative in potential, like the superposition, manifests in this polarity to create light. And it creates a point of light which appears to move on a screen so we get an image and this is the level of quantum mechanics quantum mechanics is two-dimensional now from that movement on the screen we see it as moving from still to move to rest the complete movement now that becomes a wave, a waveform. So from that movement, we get three dimensions. 
and that movement is a wave waveform and the endurance of that waveform is the audio signal there's time which is sound which is hearing and there we have energy so we've got space time energy relative the level of relativity so we've got the audio signal now we actually sense spaces by the audio signal by the audio reflection the, sa the, 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 the sound reflection and then we identify that space with the smell and then we identify the sound and then the sounds are in terms of the energy is either resonant or is dissonant it's either harmonious or is dissonant from this relativity from this waveform we get the surface tension from the the, the, the wave we get the from the fluid we get the, the the cell, the, the, the surface tension, which is the sense of touch, we see it as pressure. So from the wave, we get a pressure. A wave becomes a pressure wave. Now, when that pressure wave endures, we, we get an object, a solid object, an enduring pressure wave, an en enduring pressure map, and then that object is in a certain position. So we get an object in a certain position that's moving in a certain energy in a certain space and time that we can see as its movement and its surfaces so we can identify and see how we can integrate all these levels. This is what happens in our minds. So there we have the differential for the relative acceleration and there we have the second differentiation differential for the space and the second integral and then we have the third differential the third integral for the object now as this all happens at a point you see our senses are when we're born are synesthetic all of these come down to a point so we can conceive of this as a synesthetic synesthetic super pixel to this is why we can remember situations and different smells in that situations and different sounds in that situation because our memory system is synesthetic you know we don't have a separate sense a separate brain that remembers the smells and a separate one that remembers the sound it's all integrated in the information in the super pixel and the super pixel has this structure this nesting of the video, the audio and the pressure signals the quantum mechanics develops the photon remember from phi becomes a waveform that enduring waveform is a sound and from that we get relativity from the pressure from that wave we get pressure that enduring pressure is an object and that object is in a certain position and we see that object being held in a certain position through pressure as gravity and all these you know the gas equations pressure and, because this becomes a volume and that becomes the energy the temperature you can see by other videos the integrated science and physics on the unified field theory because the, this is a unified field because it goes right back down to the super pixel and then it grows into the into the you know the universe that, that is a, a projected hologram in our minds by the flow of the dark energy of the prana the Tai Chi
Uh, so you get that, the, the three triangles nest inside one another, the video inside the audio inside the pressure. The video gives rise to the quantum mechanics, the audio gives rise to relativity, and the pressure gives rise to gravity, to position. Quantum gravity is position. <laughs>